I will share with you here one of the most dramatic healing cases I saw in my life as a psychotherapist and coach. Decades working in this capacity. And this case is extraordinary because if you understand it, it will help you immensely to navigate what is going on right now in this world. So we had opened the Brain Optimization Holistic Institute in a studio city and we were functioning, doing healing, counseling and classes for about two years. And we had a friend of ours that was helping us, working as a neurofeedback practitioner. She was brilliant. Her work was excellent. She had the most amazing results helping the brain of children with all type of brain disorders using neurofeedback. She was also a brilliant person in other areas, spiritual and very intelligent, and she knew a lot about nutrition. When she went to the United States, because she was born in South America, she met there a man that he also happened to be extremely intelligent. So they had a child, only child, and good genes. The mother also worked at helping that child to develop a very healthy, powerful brain through nutrition. And this child was a genius. So much that when the time came to take the SAT, he got perfect score. Perfect score in the SAT means 150, 160, 180 IQ. top level. He wanted to study environmental sciences. So all the universities through the United States, they opened the door to him. You can come in. And he decided to study this because, well, he was coming from a spiritual environment and likely he wanted to contribute through that career to help with the numerous ecological issues that are happening in the world, which are very real, no doubt. So he got into a school in the Los Angeles area that was supposed to be top in the world. Once he was there, a couple of years later, we noticed that he was losing weight. And further inquiring into what was happening, the mother realized that he was injecting in himself heroin. Heroin is deadly and it destroys the body fairly quickly. So he began to lose weight, and this is not an addiction that you can shake very easily, no matter your IQ. So I remember having some conversations with him that were not the solution, of course. You cannot solve an addiction to heroin with psychotherapy or conversations, coaching, no. You need the spiritual component there. So his parents were really 
desperate to help him and encourage him to go to Narcotic Anonymous, the 12-step program. Uh, he accepted. He began to participate in these meetings and at some point he attained sobriety. Without sobriety, addiction cannot be handled. Sobriety is the first step. And then he began to work in the underlying issue that has had led him to inject heroin in his own body. In this internal work, healing work, he found the following. At school, when he began to study environmental sciences, his teachers presented to him a catastrophic, apocalyptic scenario in the world that was irreversible, beyond help. They taught these students in this top faculty, top university, top school in environmental sciences that this world had no hope. Look at the numbers, look at the curves. That's it. We're going down. So what was the psychological impact on this individual? Depression. Extreme depression. A man that had so much potential realizing that he is in a world that in a few years is going to go down. In this extreme depression, the pain that was there led him to indulge in heroin. Not only himself, but his friends too. Other friends probably in the same school. Now, you may say science is science and the university doesn't need to take care of the mental health of his or its students, right? But this was back in 2007 and the world continues here and the chances that it's going to be destroyed in an ecological disaster, I don't think, are that high. I have been personally involved in this, studying these issues, ecological issues, through years. In the 70s, I was reading The Limits of Growth by the Club of Rome, another catastrophic perspective of what's coming to the planet. The first studies that were done with computers and they thought that they were, you know, written in stone about what was going to happen here. But their predictions have not happened. Now, in his healing process, he understood that the solution to his anxiety and depression was to surrender the world to the divine, to God. Leave it in God's hands and stop carrying it in his own shoulders. When that happened, then he turned around. He got the whole picture of his disease. What we are going through at this time in the planet requires all of us to do exactly the same. We need to surrender this world, surrender the world to the divine, to the divine consciousness, to God, whatever you want to call it. 
leave it in divine hands so that we can walk free the situation that is going on can destroy you psychologically I'm not kidding if you become over concerned with what's going on with this world the divine created this world the divine sustains the world and the divine will dissolve the worlds this is the Indian scriptures right Brahma creates the world sustains the world and dissolves the world it is not our world it is the divine's world how consciousness sustains this world just think that in a minute amount of mat matter there are trillions and trillions of particles and they are not collapsing and destroyed they are vibrating and are moving in an orderly fashion so that everything stays in place and is so the universe is sustained not only created but sustained by consciousness therefore trust consciousness knows what is doing with this world it can fix it very fast very easily very easily including all the ecological problems they are nothing for that consciousness we need to do our part yes let's do our part but with a sense of lightness not carrying the world on our shoulders we can't carry the world on our shoulders it's too much do your part of course become an activist share information help people to wake up to what's going on here which is not ecological of course it's political it's a political problem a power struggle a subterranean war going on here because there are individuals that are pumping fear into the environment in through the media so that everyone becomes susceptible to manipulation if you are in fear you can be easily manipulated they will tell you use this lock yourself somewhere you know don't show up and you go and do it remove fear and you are cannot be manipulated it's very old thousands of years those in charge know this and have used this principle of course you can pump fear into the population with weapons and executions and who knows what jail so that no one complains look at China no one complains there right and it's not because there are not no injustices there are horrible injustices and horrible issues pertaining ecology the worst in the planet but nobody can complain because of fear but there are other ways to put fear into the population and the media is an expert at doing that it, it's a very effective way diseases the fear of diseases right it can be as big as the fear of being executed so you become controllable so the world may go through who knows what in the near future hopefully nothing will happen 
I'm very optimistic that nothing will happen. We will get out of this. We will do very well. Our world will do very well. But in the meantime, when the news that are coming can be very disconcerting, contradictory and uh, alarming during that time surrender the world to the divine and second recommendation here not only surrender the world surrender your personal world surrender your person your personal life surrender it to the divine also so that you don't carry on your shoulders the weight of your life either. If it if things go well and your desires, aspirations and dreams are fulfilled, fantastic. If they are not, who cares? This is a dream world. We come and go. We have plenty of time to fulfill our little dreams, sometimes stupid dreams. <laughs> so surrender your life to the divine, your personal life. So do the effort, repeat it many, many times. I surrender all my personal life, desires, dislikes, likes to the divine and see what happens. And surrender the world too. Your life will improve.